Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tuesdays with Tish. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I, it's been a minute, I've uh, been pretty busy. Um, but I kind of skipped over a couple of things I wanted to share with you guys for this bag reveal today. So, um, this bag will be available, I believe, this week on coach.com. And I think in another color is currently available on the Neiman Marcus website. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, you guys, it's another coach bag. It's not a big bag this time. Um, and I know my preference seems to be medium large um, as I've been purchasing and figuring out what I like, but this style is it. And I feel like I'm definitely gonna own uh, several colors in this item. So let's share. Ta-da! Here she is, y'all. This is the, a new style with Coach. Um, it's a Coach Rebel bag. Um, this is on the retail side, not the outlet. If you're familiar with both outlet and retail, you'll know that this has a similarity, excuse me, to current um, Coach styles out here. Um, particularly the outlet version, I believe is called it, either a Sierra or a Sienna or something to that effect but it's a little bit bigger and it kind of flares a little bit more out at the bottom part but the shape is still a dome shape type bag um, but this one I would say in comparable in size and style mostly resembles and could remind a lot of you out here of the Louis Vuitton Alma BB um, uh, for the fraction of the cost <laughs> so um, yeah this is a great style bag, and for me, I really like open compartments. Like, I like to be able to open and throw myself in. Some people prefer organization within the bag. I don't necessarily like that. I just, because I can usually just put my hand in to figure out exactly what I need and or, and, or see it. Um, and I just think the compartments a lot of times take up more space. So, that's just my thing. I, um, this color is, is a new color by Coach. Um, it's not the same color as this other red bag that I'm going to compare it to, which is the robe top handle, and that is in uh, one of my previous videos. So if you haven't had a chance to view that, go ahead on and watch that, catch up on my videos. And, um, yeah, if you haven't even subscribed yet, go ahead and do that as well. So this color is called Bold Red. So the actual colorway that they're calling it is Bold bold Red Multi. So this color is like more like a wine color. This is, the handles is different from this trim down here and it looks more so like a Bordeaux, um, Oxblood maybe color. Um, so that matches the hang tag which i love that they you know did their 1941 hang tag um i don't care for the other hang tags other than this kind um and then the nice little key here that um, i will show you what it goes to in just a bit so this does have the two zipper pulls as you can see they have little holes there and there is function for those and they're two different sizes. So the has a bigger pull and a larger pull. And I'm just gonna guess what it's used for, but we'll go ahead on and I'll show you that in a bit. So as I stated, it's a big open compartment. Um, so here it is. So it's basically a big open, open compartment but then it also has this little slip pocket in the back. I'm not gonna open it up and I'll tell you why in a bit, but it's fairly small. You could probably fit like a card holder in there. You can't put a phone or anything in there. 
Um, then it does have little gussets on the side so your stuff won't dump out and it comes up pretty high so you can pack it up pretty high without worrying about that. It does have four feet on the bottom and it is genuine gloved hand leather. So for all you that love that, yeah. Um, I love the smooth leather, so but just keep in mind with the gloved hand leather, you guys, um, it you may be prone to scratches, so just you know be aware of that. So <clears throat> it does also have a crossbody strap, and so you would hook it up on these ends that are designated for it. So it has like an extra little loop at the top for you to connect on each opposite side. And I'll show you that strap in just a bit. Um, it does have contrast stitching as well. So when you close this, you can close both sides like this. And you see how it has this cute little lock right here. And it's actually a functioning lock. Um, I'm not going to open it or anything like that. I just don't want to keep its integrity. I'm going to explain in a bit. Just um, I'm going to return this particular one for a couple of reasons, but I will be exchanging it for another. And um, hopefully, I'll be able to own uh, multiple colors of this bag because I really do love it. Um, <clears throat> so then there's this key right here that goes to that lock that you can actually use. And lock your bag if you need to so these little loops function so where you would stick it right here and you take the lock and you will lock it like that so keep your bag secure so i thought that was pretty cool and that's another similarity to the louis vuitton um elma bb and it does fit quite a bit i'll go ahead on and show you what i'm carrying today um, I'm pretty sure all of this is going to fit in the bag, um, which is good for me. I haven't, like I said, I haven't been carrying a lot for several months now, so that's a good thing. So I have my coach card holder with rivets. That is my fave. I have some Lysol spray. I have my AirPods, EarPods, whatever. I have some mascara for some reason today. My Vaseline. Oops. My hand sanitizer. My red lippy that I'm wearing today. A pack of gum. Some ibuprofen. Um, a perfume, a mini perfume spray. Um, looks like some turkey jerky. <laughs> and my Louis Vuitton key clay with my key fob. And last but not least, my phone. So all that fits in there, no problem. I still have so much room um, to fit more. See, I got my phone in the back, like kind of standing up in the back. But you see all that. It's like, if I even turn it to the side, you can't see that it's not even coming up to the gussets here. So there's so much more room to pack in, more things that you need. I would say even you can probably fit like a small water bottle in here if you needed to. I probably wouldn't put it in here, but you know, you never know. So yeah. That's pretty much it with this bag. I will say that the downfalls that I've found um, are really, is really on preference of what you prefer and what you're willing to accept, you know. Um, the interior is micro, micro fiber lining. I will say it's my least favorite lining that Coach does. I just don't like it, but um, I, it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, some, it may be a deal breaker for you, but it would just add so much more value if it had the, um, leather lining and or the suede lining. So other, another bag I would compare it to is a Coach Marley. Um, once I get another color, I'll probably compare 
the Marley with this, but today I'm comparing this bag to another bag today. Um, that way, because they're kind of similar shapes and have a, um, pretty comparable um, similarities. So the other bag I wanted to compare this with because there are a little bit of similarities, probably like in the, the size that it looks like. And then um, kind of some functionalities, but um, all in all, I think as far as style wise goes, I would prefer this one over um, the other bag I'm gonna share with you um, just for everyday use because the other one I wouldn't use every day. But before I do that, I wanted to share with you why I'm going to return this particular one. And it's more so of some quality things um, that, you know, I'm probably not willing to overlook at this time <laughs> just because, you know, it's a new item, brand new. It, you know, it shouldn't really have these issues. Um, so I think that when in packaging or something there maybe they open the box or something it looks like a little razor cut and i didn't even notice this at first just because i was so excited to get it and see it and i didn't notice till the next day so there's like a little slice in the leather right here mm, it looks like a little like from a razor blade or something maybe a box cutter or something like that and then um there's some issue right here with the leather. So I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it that good, but like if I took pictures and stuff like that, you could see it better. But it looks like it's either like the glue, whatever they use is kind of exposed right there. So it's just a little bit of sloppiness that I didn't care for, um, that I can't unsee and so it's not like it's limited quantities because it's fresh out. So I'm gonna give it another go and send it in for a new, send it back for an exchange. Um, one thing I do wanna mention also, I don't think that the stitching is as good as I've seen in the past. Um, it, you know, you can kind of tell where things end and start a little bit if you're like examining it or you're very observant. Um, I don't think you carrying it or anything like that, anybody's gonna notice it. But, so like, <clears throat> right here, you can see like where the stitching ends and starts. So, um, I don't know. I just felt like it could have been a little bit more seamless or whatever. Um, then, I did notice like a little bit of a uneven stitch right here. So there was like one stitch that was see right there. Like, mm, I don't know. That could have just been a little bit better. So like if I compared it to this rogue top handle, I don't see any issues with the stitching. I mean, it's literally perfect. Um, there's nothing crooked. I can't, it's seamless. I can't see where it starts or ends, at least on the outside. Um, I guess for me, if I was going to do this or make it, I would end either the stitching where it's hidden, like maybe behind the handle or something like that, but you know. So I'm comparing these two. They're both red bags, but they're different reds. So this is the Coach's Red Apple and this is the bold red. So the leathers are a little bit different. They're both blood tan leather, but this has more of a sheen, shiny finish to it. This is more matte. So keep that in mind. You're not, it's not gonna be, look, it's not gonna look shiny or anything like that. This is like a matte finish and this is more shiny. For me, I would prefer this over, this finish over the matte finish and then this has like the burnished effect, which I think is really gorgeous as well. So they both feature the Rogue um, handles. So obviously this is called a Rogue top handle. Um, 
It only has one. And then this one has the two, but they are different in size. So I was trying to compare and figure out what the size handles kind of compare it to. This more so resembles the normal size Rogue uh, 30 handles, I think. If not, the Marley handles, they're the same size. Um, this one is a size I haven't felt like I haven't come across yet. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. I was thinking that it was like a Marley 20, but the Marley 20s were smaller because I could like barely fit my hand through the Marley 20 rope handles. So, um, they're a little bit bigger than that, but they're smaller than this. So if you can see right there but they're both de decent sizes. I can easily put my hands through both of them if I needed to carry that and be hands-free for a second. As far as sizing, so you see them together, they look like they're almost the same like size like as far as width, um, but the Rebel is a little bit taller Excuse me, and it's a bit quite a bit wider. Um, like I said, this one has feet, this one does not, but they are both um, gloved hand leather. As far as the trim, these appear to be the same color handles, and I'm not even 100% certain what this called that what coach is calling this color, but it resembles an ox blood to me. Um, I prefer the stitching that they did on this, the colored stitching that matches the handle as opposed to the contrast. Um, that's just my personal preference, so I do like the look of this better than this one. But again, not a deal breaker. I really love this style, and I just have so many ideas on um, how I want to style this. So. While I said they look, they're both like multi, like a red multi bag, but, and they look similar in size, but this one does not fit nearly as much as the new style Rebel bag. So if I take the same items and put them in here, they'll likely fit, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to close it all the way and there'll probably be some bulging. So let's just see. So I'm putting all the same stuff I would put in there. Um, I'm trying to put the bigger things in the middle, the largest compartment, because as you know, the rope top handle has compartments. I'm not necessarily, like I said, a huge fan of that. So I'm getting, I'm filling this up. I mean, I'm almost to the top. And I still have quite a bit, like, I don't know. I mean, I could stick that on top. I still got my keys. I can try to put that in a compartment. Then I still got this beef stick. I guess I could throw it on top. And maybe my phone in the front compartment. So if you see right here, I mean, it's jam packed. I'm not even sure if I can close it. So no, I can't close it. And like I said, in the Rebel, I had so much more capacity to put so much more in that bag. So the last part that I will compare are the straps. Um, honestly, because it looks like they have the, they're using the same color, I probably can get away with it interchanging the top handle strap, crossbody strap with the Rebel, just because that the top handle strap appears to be longer. And I'm tall, so I prefer the longer strap. So this one, the Rebel is a little bit shorter than the um, rope top handle strap. So let's get that out. So here's the Rebel strap. And again, it has that contrast stitching that like I said, I would prefer it to match the leather. And then here's the rogue top handle strap. So you see, they appear to be the same color leather, but 
the rebel strap is a bit thicker and a bit shorter so as far as the thickness you see right here i like the thickness better but i like the length better better on the rope top handle so the dog leash closures appear to be the same size but if I took them at their longest length, which they both are on, you can see that the rope top handle straps come in about, in total, including the dog leash closure, about two or three inches longer. So, that's why I prefer that um, the rope top handle crossbody strap opposed to the rebel strap. Um, and I think the rogue uh, top handle is considered a 1941 bag, and the rebel is not. There's features of it as far as like the hang tag and using the gloved hand leather, but it's not considered 1941. So the rogue top handle. Oh, wait, I'm lying. I thought this was the rogue top handle strap and it is the rebel strap. So the rebel strap actually has a 1941 stamp on it. So maybe I'm wrong, but if it is truly 1941, they actually should have been a leather interior at the very least using the, um, their their canvas that they use for some of the, part of the interior of their 1941 bags um, which is a lot thicker material more substantial more luxurious than that microfiber so i don't know what they were doing with that so i'm not even sure if the road top panel has a 1941 st stamp on it I'm gonna look for one real quick. That's really strange. I, oh yep, it does. So the 1941 stamp is right here on the row top handle. So if they're truly both considered 1941 bags, mm, I'm not sure how. Just because of, like I said, some of the little details that are lacking that are not in this bag. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I was just really excited about this bag. Um, I wanted to hop on and share it with you guys. It's coming out this week, so that way you can make a decision. Maybe you wanna purchase it. Um, it is uh, $4.95. Um, Currently, but you all know how everyone, all these fashion houses these days, likes to do price increases. So if it's something you like, I would suggest getting it just because you never know. In a couple months or a month down the line, they might increase it. Um, the product code number for this is CC412. That's CC412. So you can also give your essay, your co if you have a coach essay, give them a call, call a retail store, order it up. If possible, it should, if it's not available to order, I'm sure it'll be this week. If not, like I said, hop online and check it out. And like, and then Neiman Marcus right now has this style bag, but it's in the coach signature canvas. So the, their famous brown canvas that they use. So all the body would be the signature canvas and the tan brown color. Then the trim would be like some sort of brown leather. It's really cute um, as well, but um, I will not be partaking in that colorway. So a little bit of details um, from what I got from the product says that obviously gloved tan leather has an inside snap pocket that I showed you zip closure, fabric lining, which we already know and not too thrilled about. Um, so the handles say they have a two and three quarter drop. 
which I want to say that was the same drop as the Marley 20, but they, I feel like these are bigger, so I don't know. Um, the detachable strap that I showed you says that as a 21 and a half inch shoulder drop, which sounds about right. Um, cause I usually prefer myself like 22, 22, 23 inches, um, for me. Um, the four protective feet at base. So this, and then it also has the measurements here is 10 and one quarter length, seven and three quarter height, top to bottom, and then the four and three quarter width, side to side. Overall, I think it's a classy bag, something